Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Daniel here. And I know I said this in the last video, but in this video we're actually gonna make it where you can scroll to a certain row and column, press on it, and then it will open up a new details screen. So how do we do that? In the last video we kind of got our search icon there, we did some kind of maintenance cleanup, we got the price there, and I noticed I forgot the dollar sign, oh well. We can fix that later. But in this video we're gonna make it where you can press on a product and then Inside of this recycler view, it'll open up a new view with details about this. So let's just, it'll probably better to just explain it and do it, or probably better to do it than to explain it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, one thing we're gonna need to do is create a new class. So let's go over here, let's do new Kotlin activity, and we'll call this um, product, uh, product details. We'll make that a class. And let's go ahead and extend app compat activity. And I'm gonna go ahead and come down here and do uh, control enter, type override, and then start, to start typing on create. And you see we have it highlighted for us. I'm just gonna hit enter, and here we go. And if, you, if that doesn't make sense, you can just type all of that out. Either way is fine. It's just a little shortcut to make it faster. Now set content view, r.layout, and then something we haven't created yet. So let's do, we'll call it product details. And so we're gonna put my mouse over it. And of course, we haven't created this layout yet. It's not actually, it doesn't actually exist. We have activity main, content main, and product row, but we don't actually have a product detail screen. So let's go ahead and put your click on it. Option enter, enter, enter. Uh, come into here, we'll do uh, text view, wrap, wrap, and we'll give it a text of, we'll give it a text of, not text color, of, we'll say product details. Okay, cool. Now what we wanna do is we wanna make it so that every time they click, or every time the user presses and touches one of these one of these products, it'll take them to a details screen. So how exactly do we do that? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and do something. Let's just go back to our products, our products adapter, and then the on create view holder, let's do this. I think there's like a view dot set on click listener, so we can use this. So right now we could just put something to the log cat, but let's actually try to start this. So let's do this, let's do, uh, was, well, there are many ways, there, there are a number of ways to do this. We may refactor this a little bit later, but for now this should work. So let's do this. We have access to parents, let's do, uh, let's do, uh, what should we do? Parents, yeah, oh yeah, sorry, we have to actually start, to start it. Just saying, I'm thinking here. I'm just trying to think through how exactly I'm going to do it. Uh, let's. Uh, so we have. So yeah. So this is basically like your on your click listener. So every time. So in our on create view holder, this is like one of these for every single one of these for every single row, uh, every single cell. I mean. So this like if you click on the if you click on or if you press, you know, one at the bottom, it'll trigger one at the bottom, one at the top, one at the top. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's do. Uh, so we have, oh, first we need to create an intent. So let's do that. Val and, uh, and we'll call this intent equals intent. And then we'll go ahead and do parents. I think we have this, yeah, parents, do we? We'll do that for there. And then we'll do product details. I think it's class.java, there we go. So we have our intent there. So now every time we, we can, we could actually move it into there if you wanted, I guess. Not, a, not that big of a deal. So, so yeah, so here we go. So we have, so every time we click on one of those, every time we press one of those, one, like that icon or that or that or that, it's gonna pick up our uh, set on click listener, and then we have an intent. And we're, we're gonna pass some data to this, but for now what we could go ahead and do is we'll just do, uh, we'll do uh, parent.context dot start activity and we'll and we'll pass in the intent that we just created. Intent. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna run it and let's watch and see what happens. So just give it a second where it installs. Will this even work? So now here we go. Now I'm gonna press on one of these products. It immediately crashes. Well actually I know what the problem is. If not I could come down into the logcat and figure it out. And it should be here somewhere. 
Uh, it's a lot of uh, anyway. So, but the point is, it should be. We, so every time you create a new activity, like so, we had our main activity, but every time we create a new activity, like product details activity, we have to put it in the manifest. So let's do this. Let's come down to here after. So after our main activity there, and we can tell it because it has a name of main activity. Let's do activity, and then we'll call this product details. Uh, and note that right there has to match up with that. And the same thing for this has to match up with that. So I'm going to save it and run it. And let's go back to the emulator and let's see if this works. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to press on it. And here we go. So we have opened up a new screen. So this is kind of cool. We can, you know, pat, and then so the next thing we need to do is pass some data to it. So say if I say if I buy organic apple for one for about two US dollars, I'm here in the United States. We can press on that and it goes to a product details. So let's go ahead and let's add more details in. Um, okay, wait, actually let me just think about what we need to do. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's pass some data to it. Okay, so we have so we have a lot of data on this screen. Like we know that this apple costs $1.99. So when I press on this, I want it to be $1.99. Make sense? Okay. So, and I know right now all of them say 199, but we'll fix that later. Or we'll we'll fix that when we get into Firebase or Cloud Functions on Google Cloud Platform. Uh, big fan of Google Cloud Platform or GCP. Uh, big fan of Google, Android, all kinds of stuff. So, okay, let's get back on track here. Okay, so let's have we have our intent there. Let's do intent dot. Uh, I think we can put extra, and we need to. We'll. We'll we'll call it uh, we'll call it name. Now we'll do uh, now we'll do name. And then oh actually so we need uh, so we have our intent. Yeah so how are we gonna do that? Let's do this. Let's do products. And then we need a way to get the position. How exactly do we do that? So that's a little bit tricky. And there are a number of ways to do that, but what we can do is we can do, we should be able to do, let me, should we have view dot, what is it? It is, I might, might have used it here recently. Let's see, let me think. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm like trying to figure this out really quick. So let's see, holder. Let's do this. Let's, let's go ahead and create this. Let's copy this. We'll name this holder. We'll set holder up here. Val holder equals. There we go. Now let's come back to here and let's do holder dot adapter position. Oh, actually, so, so what we want to do is we want to do. Oh, yeah, that is right, actually. That's it. Okay. And uh, let's do title, actually. So forget that. So let's not do name, title. So now I think this might work emphasis on the think because I don't know but the good thing about Android is we can just make some changes and then run it really quickly to see if it works or not so we have our title this isn't actually going to change anything that we can see but behind the scenes it should be passing some data uh, specifically the title there with that value so I'm going to press on one of those and yeah here we go okay now how do we actually access that so let's go into let's close that so let's just close everything else besides that Let's go back to product details and oh yeah we created that yeah so that should be good and let's do this let's do val intent equals uh, get intent I think dot get string x extra yeah, there we go okay so we need to pass in something here so if we do command p it just takes one thing we notice and we call that title so I'm gonna come back into here and do title. Okay, cool. So now let's go back to our, well, let's go ahead and run it just to confirm that it doesn't change anything because it's not going to change anything. Um, and there we go, product details. So that's all, that's all, that's all nice and didn't really change anything. Let's, let's, let's do, let's fix that. So let's go into product details. Let's give this an ID of title. Okay. Oh, that's going to be confusing. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do product name. So a little bit confusing here, but I'm doing this for a reason. So product name. Uh, let's go back to product details. And now let's do this. Let's do. Uh, oh, actually, this should be um, title. 
Okay, product name dot text equals title. Okay, now let's see if this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the emulator and let's just see if it works. It could crash, I have no idea. Let's just try it out. So press, and hey, organic apple. Okay, so now if we click on any one of them, they're all say organic apple. So let's, let's go ahead and change that. Let's go back to our adapter. Actually, let's go back to main activity. And let's go ahead and do organic apple number, and then we'll do dollar sign i. So dollar sign i is basically a variable inside you, that you can use inside of quotes in Kotlin. So we have organic apple number, and then we have whatever i is. So it's going to start at zero and go up to 100. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50, 60, 70, 80, 99, and then it goes up to 100. Uh, so let's go ahead and save that, and I'm going to run it. And let's go back to the emulator. And let's just see if this works or not. So I'm going to click on, oh, there we go. So Apple number one, number or zero, one, two, three. We have Apple number six, 16. So I'm going to press Apple number 16. And look, here we are. There it is, our very own screen that has product details. So let, just to kind of recap, and I know this video is getting kind of longer. I'm trying to make them shorter. But what we did is we created a new activity. So all of this is new, the product details activity. We extend app compat, which is basically Andrew's way of saying, hey, this is our activity. And every time we enter the screen, what we want to do is we want to set the layout to product details. And here it is. But we also want to do some stuff. So inside of here, we get the title. Intent is a way to pass data between screens. We want to get some text from the previous screen with the ID of title. And if I go back to here, it's title. It's title. So it's the same thing. Um, and then we use product name, which is an ID here. And we, and we say, hey, set its text to the title, which is up there. So this is a little bit, hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, leave some comments in the YouTube videos below or send me a LinkedIn request. I'll also have, I'll also have a link to my LinkedIn request. You can send me a connection request. And uh, so this video, just to run it one more time, I'm gonna run it and we can play around with it a little bit. So we can scroll to the bottom. I think it only has 100, yeah, 100. So there we go. So I can click on, yeah, 100. You know, I don't like this. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Text size. We'll do it uh, 24 SP, so it's kind of big. Let's give this some um, padding. We'll do a 16 DP. So there we are. Let's make this color, text color number black, or you can go over here and make it whatever color you want to make it. I'm going to cancel out of that, reformat the code, save it, click, uh, con do control R to run it on a Mac, or, and here we go. So click on Apple number 20. There's our Apple number 20. And now in the next video, we'll, be, we'll begin adding even more details. And in a future video, we'll actually use Google Cloud Platform or Firebase or pop, maybe I might show you how to do both Firebase and Google, Google Cloud Platform. But I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.